Hey guys, what's up? It's Ian here and Trevor back with you guys from Insane RC Action. Ooh, that's coming out. And uh, this is part two of the FID Racing electric start system. And uh, so here we go. We're just going to demonstrate for you how it works. And uh, to start off with, the reason why in the previous video you see in the opening clip why the wheels are spinning because my clutch spring broke. So the clutch was fully engaged when we started it. So now we got a new clutch spring in there. Let's go and crank it up. So we got this on. Go ahead and plug the 2S LiPo in that powers the starter. And by the way, Trevor, I did get that connection in there. I soldered it down. It's, it's just stuck it down in there. So where you have a that jumper pretty much is always connected. How do I get this to be out of the way here? Let's see, I don't want that to interfere with the throttle linkage. There we go. That's plugged in. Turn the receiver on. And we don't want that on just yet. Switch is on. <laughs> Alright, so the way I have it set up on my Traxxas radio, this is the kill switch for the Killer RC radio. So it means off, and that's back on. And that's the off position for the electric start, and the two, and the, you switch it forward once, it's a three-way switch. That's technically on, or run. And normally if I had the kill switch on the e-start too, another forward again would be off, but we don't have that. So it's just off, start, or run, and then you can kill it by using the Killer RC switch or the button on the uh, engine. Ready, Trevor? Yep. I need to prime this up. All the gas kind of gone back out of it. All right, we're primed up. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. I took the cover off, guys, so you can just uh, see the belt running. And uh, just to give you an idea. Normally, you want to run that cover on so nothing gets in that uh, that starter motor belt system. Is that ready? I'm just gonna turn it on real quick and see how fast it starts up. seconds for that killer RC switch to engage the engine again or else it won't start up. Push the switch back on the opposition and here we go. And uh, that motor actually runs for electric motor. This, I mean I know other people have explained this but it runs for about four seconds. You can cut it off sooner if the engine starts but like I said you can just leave the switch in the on position. The motor cuts off, cuts off after four seconds not the engine but the FID racing electric motor. So that's pretty much it. Um, uh oh, my little. Uh, let's, okay, so let's put this cover back on because that came off once again. And uh, we're gonna get some running footage uh, for it, of you guys. So like I said, if you're running the car and it's far away, you can just flip that switch, turn it back on. No more having to run out there. Maybe I don't know how far out you guys run your cars, but let's say you're at a track or something. You, even if you're racing, you just flip the switch, it cranks back on, and you can kill it with the remote too. So we'll get back with you guys. Yeah. Alright man, I haven't ever run this thing in a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. Ready? Ready. Uh, I'll put the screwdriver in my pocket. I need to adjust it a little bit. It was a little high. <coughs> the car is high. Alright guys, here, start up and I'll kick you off the box. Right. Just kidding. Just start it up though. Okay, I'll, I'm going to leave the switch in the running position though. Just in case. Wait, like five You're the only one that's not coordinated enough for a bump. I know, that's what I'm saying. So let's get in the habit of doing that. So many cars, just kind of stay like in the ditch for right now. I don't want to like get get it run over, you know. I'll zoom all the way out so they can really tell how far away it is. All right, guys, cut off. Now start it back up. The car coming, so you might want to get off the road. Or just stay there. What are they doing? Don't run over it. <laughs> I thought you were going to like pull off the road. Now it started back up. If you can hear it. Wait. What? Alright, hold the camera. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. 
Is your killer RC switch off? There we go. I'm saying your your red switch might be off. Yeah. Make sure it's not like getting sticking. I soldered that switch pretty good. It was a fair amount of solder. I'm gonna say it was the right amount of solder. It's good yeah. coated, so shouldn't be it. Let's just keep driving up and down. Like, cut it off in the grass right there. And I'm gonna go show them. So stop. Cut it. All right, guys. Killed it with the kill RC switch. Back on on the kill RC. Wait for it. To, you gotta wait for it to beat five seconds though. That's why. You're gonna go. Go up. Ha. <laughs> Yeah, Trevor, speed limit's 30, man. Yeah. Not 55. This thing's a beast. Uh oh, we cut out. Oh, no, what do we do? I, no I thought you meant I was like, what the heck? Oh, no. What do we do? Oh, no. Ah, oh, what do you know? Electric start. So, like, way down by the mailbox. It's They're pretty much the range of the radio, I'm pretty sure. At the range, it will start up. I'm thinking. Yeah, it should be. Let me zoom in on it, so stop. I'm okay, I'm zooming as much as I can go. Right. Kill it. Ready. Yep. Killed. Back on. Wait. Switch off. Right. And start. Starter. Back. Nice. Yeah, that open wheel concept was pretty nice. Alright guys, it's been another episode on San RC Action, and um, well, hope to see you next time. The camera's dying, so thanks for